Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I need some water. All right, you guys. That was so dramatic. So this is the long awaited fitness journey video, you guys. This is one of the most highly requested videos and I'm so excited to finally just sit down with you guys and tell you my whole fitness journey. So I'm going to be telling you guys this whole story from the top of my head. I didn't even plan out this video. I didn't even write out an outline like I normally do um, because I kind of know my journey from heart because I've told this story so many times to so many people. So, and also this journey is so close to my heart that how can I not forget it? So grab your favorite beverage, get a little snack because this is gonna be a story time, you guys. I'm also gonna be throwing up pictures here and there. So make sure you watch this whole entire video so you guys can see, um, visually see my fitness journey and how my body progressed. So whenever anyone asks me like how long have you been on your fitness journey and I always tell them six years but really that was when I actually started working out at the gym and actually weightlifting but my fitness journey actually started about six and a half to seven years ago um, before I even went into the gym and got my driver's license. So before I go in depth I want to tell you guys why I started my fitness journey. So so I was about 14 and 15 years old. I was at like freshman to sophomore year of high school. If you guys didn't know, I actually switched from being at a private school to a public high school. Um, and all my life I've been in a private school. So at a private school, we wore uniforms. So, so switching from a private to a public school was really difficult because I really didn't have a sense of style because I, like I said, we just wore uniforms. So everyone was just like matching hideously. So with that and starting at a new public high school and really wanting to try to fit in, I started to be really self-conscious about my body because at a public school, these girls were had this sense of style. They looked so good in like all these outfits and these girls had nice butts and abs and that was also when social media was blowing up. I'm um, pretty sure that was when Instagram started. I'm not 100% sure. And also at the same time, I was falling for Sean. That's when we first met and first started dating. So I really wanted to, one, fit in, and also I wanted him to love my body because there's all these other beautiful girls and with beautiful bodies at a public high school. I just wanted him to love my body. And that is one thing that I wish I could tell, like, my younger self and any of you high schoolers out there is that find a man that loves you for your heart and not for your body. And... That goes into, there's so many reasons why you need to just focus on that. And Sean already loved me for my heart. But of course, as a teenager and like growing and trying to figure out life and with social media and then switching from a private to a public school, I barely had any self-esteem. And so, and so around that time, I looked like this. I wasn't skinny, but I was holding a lot of baby weight, um... And growing up, I've always been super athletic. When I lived in Hawaii, my family and I would go on hikes. I would go running on the beach and climbing on all the rocks. And I would go bike riding with my dad. Um, I was I was honestly really a tomboy. <laughs> and I also did cheerleading all the way up to eighth grade. So I was very athletic. Um, but I also had a little bit of curves. If you guys didn't know, I am part Puerto Rican. And when I tell people that, they do not believe me. But my mama always says that the only Puerto Rican in me is in my butt. Shout out to my Latina girls. So I never was like super just paper thin skinny, um, but I was very athletic and had curves. So, so going back to freshman and sophomore year of high school, that was the time where abs, and having a butt was in and keep in mind like I said I already had a little butt having abs was like the thing you guys and I remember I would follow what is that girl's name Kayla Intensine Intens I don't even know how to pronounce it and also Jen Selter I'm probably butchering their name but um and they were known at the time on Instagram to have like abs and have a butt so I had the butt already I just wanted the abs and so I would do anything to get abs you guys to the point where I was like barely eating I was doing cardio I was not weightlifting at all and I even convinced my mom to buy Kayla's like workout plan at the time it was like an at-home workout to get muscles and get abs and no hate on her but you can't 
get muscles just from doing body weight exercises so that was a little thing that I learned and I remember literally coming home from school and doing her workouts every single day for like 30 minutes and so I would do a lot of HIIT workouts and a lot of just cardio and so I lost so much weight you guys so I did that for about a year and then that's when I got my driver's license you guys and so that is when I actually got a gym membership and a little backstory with that is if you guys didn't know my dad has been a bodybuilder for years he has a crazy transformation um, and it's so funny because so many people think my dad looks like Jackie Chan but when they actually see him they automatically think he looks like The Rock so if that explains how my dad looks so my dad knew that I was having a whole bunch of just like self-esteem issues and leaving the private school and getting bullied there so much. He knew that I just had problems with my self-confidence. And so, so he tried to convince me so much to start weight training in the gym and that it will help me build my confidence. But I kept pushing him off and be like, no, 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 I don't want to turn manly. Um, so when I got a gym membership, I literally stuck to the cardio machines. And this is what I look like. I was almost like under a hundred pounds and honestly that was so unhealthy for my height and for my age you guys and I also was having such an, an unhealthy relationship with food I wouldn't eat rice you guys and yes I'm Asian your girl loves rice okay so that made my dad realize like this is an issue you're having an unhealthy relationship with food and you're depriving yourself this is this is toxic so I kind of knew that was unhealthy, but at the same time, I saw abs, you guys. Um, I was loving it. I started posting on Instagram, um, and I was getting so much compliments, and I just loved having abs. At the same time, this is when booties started blowing up. I now wanted to have a butt. So I remember literally laying in bed and just researching almost every single day how to grow your butt. And I forgot to mention that when I deprived myself of all these foods and I was basically a cardio bunny, I lost my butt, you guys. And I didn't even think that it was possible because I always heard, it's in your genetics, your genes can never go away. It can go away. My little Puerto Rican booty went away, you guys. So had no butt. I didn't have like a flat butt, but it it wasn't my butt anymore. How many times am I gonna say butt? I don't know. After doing so much research, everything that I read was that you need to increase your calories to build muscle, and I was so scared to do that because I didn't want to lose my abs, and I didn't want to get rounder in my face, and I realized like I don't have my Puerto Rican butt anymore. I, I want it back, so I didn't care. So I went full into weight training, and my dad gave me a workout plan, and yep, didn't listen to him again. And I literally, you guys, did legs three days a week for like a year. So yes, that worked. But also, that was very unhealthy. I literally did not do upper body because I always thought, like, if the second that I do upper body, I will get manly because I have my dad's genes, so I didn't want to be like that. This was around junior year of high school, and I noticed that the weight on the scale was getting higher and higher, but then I noticed that my body was getting more toned and more defined. So I was like, whoa this is good so i really started loving how my body was looking you guys weightlifting became an addiction for me if you ladies are weight training and then you see the scale going higher it's actually because you're gaining more muscle because muscle and fat weigh the same but muscle takes up less space so it's denser so i went from 100 pounds to 120 pounds you guys and i was feeling and looking so confident you guys i was getting so much more compliments i started posting more on my instagram and so many people were just like oh my gosh you have a perfect body which i don't you guys there's always improvements i was loving my body i was loving myself because of weight training so it wasn't until senior year of high school that i actually started focusing on my upper body what made me realize that i'm being stupid for not working out upper body is when i think i saw this picture of this girl on instagram and um she was literally like walking up the stairs but her back looked so good you guys it was like so like sexy and just so chiseled and just so nice and she didn't look manly at all and i'm like i want that 
And so the second that I started working out upper body is when I noticed that my waist looked more cinched. It looks more thinner. Um, I feel more stronger. I can lift all these groceries and not have to ask anyone for help. Um, and just like little milestones like that just made me so happy and that's when I started falling in love with upper body workouts. So really ever since senior year of high school is when I actually started working out both my upper body and lower body. And so ever since then my, I have just fallen in love with my body and how it's changing and just looking more toned and just not even that but also just like the more that I notice that I can lift more weight is honestly the most empowering feeling ever. To be able to do something that you thought you would never be able to do is like, it's just the most empowering feeling ever. And then honestly, that is how I fell in love with weight training. And guys, you go on my Instagram. Do I look manly? If so, let me know. But I don't think I look manly. So ladies, you need to actually work out your upper body because, because you want to be proportioned, okay? But my fitness journey really isn't that like, oh my gosh, like that's an amazing story. But personally, I think it is because mentally I have come so far. Um, I used to hate my body. I, I used to pick at it. And, you know, we're a woman. We still do. Like, come on. But I'm at this point with my body where I'm just maintaining it because I love where I'm at in life. And guys, if you guys couldn't tell, it took me years to get to this point. Nothing good comes easy. And so that is another thing that I learned is that patience is key and you have to be consistent with it. I had so many moments throughout my fitness journey where I just wanted to stop and I would stop for a week and be like, what am I doing? I could have had I could have been a week ahead. You just got to keep pushing, be patient, and your body will show up. The things that change is that I started focusing on the weight that I could lift rather than the weight that I can lose. Because like I mentioned, the more muscle you gain, the more the number on the scale is going to go up because muscle and fat weighs the same. It's just denser. I literally ignore the number on the scale, like how many pounds I weigh, because that doesn't tell me anything. My clothes, actual measurements, um, before and after pictures is what is going to tell me if my body is changing or not, not the number on the scale. The last thing that changed is that I started to focus on nutrients for my body rather than restricting myself from those nutrients just to be skinny. So now I have a very healthy and happy relationship with food, you guys, and you know I have my rice. So that is my finished journey, you guys. It's something that I'm very, very proud of. I want to start setting more fitness goals and accomplishing those rather than just focusing on heavy weightlifting. For example, one of my 2020 goals is to really start incorporating body weight exercises, you guys, because I can lift heavy freaking weights, but when it comes to my body weight, I can't do that. No. I can barely do like five push-ups. But when it comes to rows or deadlifts, your girl can knock those out. But push-ups is a no-go. I hope you guys learned so much from this video because if you guys take all my tips from this video and don't do the things that I did, I promise you guys will be, you'll have your dream body quicker than I got mine. I just learned the hard way. <laughs> all right, you guys, if you wanna see my glute transformation and how I grew my glutes from this to this, like this video and I'll do that as soon as possible. But until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.